Hello there, Purple Banditos, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we defeated Team Rocket inside of their headquarters with the help of Lance. In today's episode, we are ready to enter inside of Mahogany Town's Pokemon Gym, take on its leader, Price, the teacher of Winter's Harshness. As you guys suggested, I've gone ahead and put Zuko up in front because it is an ice type gym and our fire should be super effective on it. So here we go. We have made it inside and let's talk to this guy. Price is a veteran who has trained Pokemon for some 50 years. As you'll find, his attacks will make you shiver in this freezing gym. Are you ready to be frozen solid? I mean, keep up a hot fighting spirit against ice. So we are gonna be fighting an old dude? All right, let's go ahead and make it through here. Oh, and we have an ice puzzle. What else is there gonna be in a nice type gym? Did I already make it through? Well, was it really that easy? I just kind of like ran straight upward and then just made my way to the left and right. All right, there seems to be two trainers here. Which way is the correct one? I do not know. How about we just go ahead and start taking them out? We have Zuko. We're ready for this. We're more than ready. To get to Price, our gym leader, you need to think before you skate. Always think before you skate, guys. You're not just going to go out there and run around in the ice. So here we go. We're challenged by skier Deanna. Deanna uh, is going to send out a Jinx, and I'm going to send out my Zuko. And now it's showtime. Time for us to actually get some stuff going. As you guys can see, we're actually a little uh, higher level than the Pokemon in here. I'm pretty sure our Pokemon are pretty well trained. I think uh, this is actually, uh, this gym actually has a bit lower levels than like the previous gym or something, or about the same, which is kind of weird. I heard a lot of you guys uh, mentioned something like that I, I would probably find this gym a bit easier uh, than the previous one so there we go we defeated the first trainer and now let's move onwards and take down this dude as well the more XP the merrier right I mean that's what you have to do and here we go this gym has a simply floor it's fun isn't it but hey we're not playing games here yes we are I, I'm, I'm playing games I don't know about you but here we go we're gonna take down the second guy we're uh, how's he how's he ska snowboarding inside of a freaking place are you just standing on top of it and just spinning in circles? I mean, there's not much to do inside of this little building that's covered in rocks and ice and all this flat land. And, you know, you can't even go up hills and go down. And I guess you just chill there and just have a good time with your snowboard. But we took down the first one. He's going to send out a Swinub. I think that's how you say it. Swinub, Swinub. And if they're only level 27, that's not bad. I'm just going to keep using the Lava Plume. You know, special attack. We should be able to just rock through this and just knock things out with our little, little Mohawk, Frohawk we have going on up there. And there we go. We gained some XP. And very sweet. We defeated Border Patton. See you later, man. All right. Now that we actually defeated the two of those, let's hope that we can figure out this ice puzzle. Let's see if I can push it here. I think I messed up. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I think I messed up. I think we were supposed to push the other one. Let's go in and out the doors then. And let's redo this puzzle. Because I think they're going to reset themselves. Okay, yes. That... What? How? Okay, we can go up here. Oh, that's what it is. And you can push there. And that's how you do it. Clap, clap. I figured out how to do an ice puzzle. And now there's like four more guys in here. This is great. Let's just go ahead and start taking them out. These shouldn't be too hard for us to do. We also have a couple, you know, of our team members who will do quite well in this gym as well. Uh, we have our Heracross who would do quite decent. And, uh, you know, we should be able to rock them and sock them. And we also have Den. I was just about to mention that. Uh, a lot of these, as you can see, are like water, ice type. Uh, and that's why I'm going to have to switch out to Den for a good amount of these trainers. You guys told me that... You know, a lot of the water ice uh, types in these gyms are going to be, like, in here. So I'm going to have to, you know, use Den here and there and then switch out. And it's going to be, you know, a little more difficult than I thought it was going to. But as you can see, that didn't do a whole much. And you guys ready for the Thunderbolt? Here we go. Den, use Thunderbolt. And we're going to shock the crap out of this little seal-looking thing. And we're going to hopefully KO it and then move on upwards and figure out some ice puzzles. Kind of like in Zelda. Those puzzles always give me some trouble. But, you know, eventually you're always going to figure them out. So Den gained some XP. Boy, Border Deandre is going to send out Dugong. That sounds cool. Border Deandre. That just sounds like some thick accent. All right. Dugong is out. I'm just going to keep going with the Thunderbolt. Why not just spam the crap out of it when we have a great electric type? All right. Let's go ahead and do that. And is it going to KO it? It is down. So very nice. While we're doing this, I'm actually back at my place now. Uh, as you guys know, I was actually back at home uh, for a little bit, you know, enjoying my vacation, spending some time with the family. And I had a great time. It's really nice to, you know, go and hang out with the family once in a while. All right. It's going to send out a seal. 
and let's see if I can take it down. My grandma's also visiting right now from El Salvador, so I got to spend some time with her. That's always really nice, you know. Uh, older people are always going to give you better advice, and that's definitely something my grandma does. She's wise, like Professor Oak. <laughs> I don't know, that's, that's kind of a weird comparison. But yes, we fainted the last seal, and now we defeated Boda DeAndre. You're so strong, it's scary. So there we go, we defeated that person, and now let's see if we can figure out the puzzle from here. Okay, so if I push it up, Oh, this is tricky. I do not know if I'm going to need to push it this way. I think I might have to push it that way, and then upwards, and then downwards. And this is going to get messy. Oh my goodness. Okay, we might as well take down as many trainers as possible, uh, because I don't know exactly which one is the right one for us to beat. Urgh, this is a mess. Uh, can we can we go up here? All right, let's, let's push this block. Screw it. And then there's not much to do there. I could bounce back around. Um, okay, I can come up here. Pushing that block isn't really going to do a whole bunch. Uh, woof, man, this is tougher than you think. I think I'm going to battle this gal up here because I think we're going to need to... Uh, wait, wait, oh, here we go. Yep. All right, let's see if we can take her down. Uh, it says, check out my parallel turn. The guy is right up there. I just need to figure out how to get up there. All right, we were challenged by skier Jill. Jill, you are about to get pushed down this hill because we are going to take down your Pokemon quite easily. And I completely forgot that this room has all the dugongs and the seals and the Pokemon. So I'm going to switch out to Den one more time, and let's go ahead and take down this Pokemon. Why not? It went for an Aurora Beam. I don't know how effective that's going to be on me. Let's just hope it's not too effective. And Den is turning out to be quite the tank. Uh, somehow, always when I use an electric type on my team, which they all somehow end up looking like dogs, uh, they always turn out to be one of the strongest members that I always have. And they always end up being, you know, one of the go-getters uh, team leaders. So Zuko gained some XP. Dan gained some XP as well. And we defeated... Jill only had one Pokemon. All right, that wasn't too bad then. I'm thinking it might be easier if we just uh, pick out all these Pokemon. I can't push this block of ice. Let me see if I can go up here maybe. And then, you know, I don't know if I really need to challenge that guy at all. Would I need to challenge that guy? Um, Let's see if I can push these blocks of ice. I'm going to go up here, see if I can push that one. I can't push it? Why can't I push it? I can't push it from here? Oh, maybe you can only push them once. Let's go in and out again. I think this is something we're going to have to do, going in and out in order to figure out these puzzles. Uh, man, these are a little bit tricky. I did not think they were going to be this tricky. All right, let's see. Um, if I go up here, I'm going to slide here. Let's go down. Let's go up. Am I figuring out what I'm doing, or am I just looking like a fool right now? <laughs> I'm probably looking like a fool, because uh, we've already gone ahead and done this a couple times. I don't know if that block of ice down there is going to do anything for us. Maybe, maybe I do need to push this one. Let's go ahead and push that one upwards. And then if I go down here, Jill's going to slide me. Going to go down here, down here. And this is not working. This is not working very well. Um, you know what, actually? Let's see if we can push that. Oh, my goodness. You can only push these blocks of ice once. I did not figure that out. All right, guys. Uh, let's just go ahead and beat this guy as well. And then I'm probably just going to run around until I figure out this puzzle. I know Price is secret. So here we go. We're going to take on the second dude. Well, the third dude. The second dude inside this room. Yes, Joel was a girl. And let's go ahead and tell, take out Border. Gerardo. That's my cousin's name. Uh, okay, so here we go. It's another shelter. A lot of water type. Surprisingly. I'm, I'm honestly going to have to start keeping Den out in front. All right, Den. Come ahead and show us your moves. Show us what's going on. Uh, the shelter went for a supersonic. That's not going to work very well. I'm going to go ahead and electrocute that shell. Pretty sure it's got a little metal in it. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not saying it's a steel type or anything. But, you know, we can go ahead and KO it pretty good. And there we go. Super effective. The first one is down. I don't know why these ice puzzles give me so much trouble. Zucker grew to level 36. All right, let's go ahead and keep going. Border. Gerardo's going to gain. All right. Cloister's coming out. Oh, goodness. That, that's, a, that's a strong Pokemon for us. Let's go ahead and use the Thunderbolt. Let's hope we can take it down. All fingers crossed here, everybody, that we can take down this Cloister with one hit, which would be really nice. And I think we got it. So sweet. There we go. The Cloister is down. And now it's time for us to continue on and hopefully figure out this ice puzzle. A seal. Oh, wait, wait. There's still a seal. Why would you send out your weakest Pokemon last? Ah. Uh, well, I, I mean, kind of makes sense. I kind of go with my strongest first as well. So it makes sense that a trainer would do that. Let's go ahead and use this Thunderbolt one more time. And that should take down the seal once and for all. See you later, Mr. Snowboarder. And uh, let's move on from this adventure and let's continue going. So we defeated him. Okay, I'll tell you Price's secret. I, I guess his, uh, you know what, jump out. Oh, crap. Zuko's evolving. Okay, so Zuko's going to be evolving into the final phase of his evolutionary chain. And I'm very excited for this. And let's see what our Zuko 
is going to evolve into. So look at that thing. That thing's huge and angry and ready to go. Congratulations. Your Zuko evolved into Typhlosion. So very nice. We got ourselves a Typhlosion and welcome to the team. Glad to have our Zuko uh, once and for all maxed out. Look at it. It looks like it's dancing. I'm dancing on the ice because I'm big. All right. I don't know what he's doing. But I am actually going to run around until I figure out this ice puzzle then. And then we'll go ahead and keep this thing going. All right, little blonde moment, but I think I've figured it out in like two seconds after I said I would figure it out. I just basically came back up here, just la lapped around, and there we go. We have made it to this old man. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I, too, have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been training Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the winner trainer, shall demonstrate my power. Here we go, Rodri versus Price, Mahogany Town's gym leader who uses the ice type Pokemon. I'm very excited to take down this old man to knock down his cane and knock him on the floor. Jokes, jokes, he's gonna send out a seal first of all, and I'm gonna go ahead and send out Zuko. Ooh, this is gonna get heated very, very fast. I am actually gonna, you know what? Let's go with Zuko, why not? Zuko doesn't get much, much time to chill. And let's just throw out the headbutt. We're six levels up on this Dugong Seal little wannabe thing. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the Faux Seal is gonna use Hail. That's gonna make Ice type moves a little more effective, but they shouldn't be too effective on us. What's gonna be effective is if this Seal whoops out a Surf out of somewhere and just starts hitting us with that. That's what's gonna hurt us. Okay, let's go ahead and throw out another headbutt. I'm also trying to kind of, you know, lure out the, the restores that I'm guessing Price has. The Faux Seal used rest okay did not know that these pokemon were gonna have rest this is gonna make things a little bit more complicated so hail continues to fall i wonder how much lava plume would actually do on this pokemon i'm not too sure if it would even do anything but i'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot just because you know zuko evolved i want to give zuko a shot and just you know go through this stuff so yes yeah, since it's a water type it's not gonna do a whole bunch but you know what it was worth the shot it was worth the try the faux seal you snore Ooh, is that one of those moves that like Snorlax has that you can use when you sleep? And I think it actually is. Hail continues to fall. Oh my goodness, we're getting buffeted. We're getting buffeted. And I'm going to go ahead and throw out another headbutt. And you know, our headbutts tend to do a lot of damage. Uh, the only thing that worries me is that Price is going to use their store. As you can see, the seal flinched, which is cool by me. And then after the next switch, I'll figure out uh, what type is coming out. Well, hopefully I'll figure out what type is coming out and go from there. So the leader Price used one Hyper Potion. Very good. Wasting his Hyper Potions on his low level. Level. Perfect strategy to use. I am all up for that. The hill stopped. Uh, we, let's try out the Swift. Let's see how much damage the Swift would do on this guy. Uh, I know the Swift won't miss, but we'll see if it does anything. Because I, I don't want it to get too low, but I don't... Oh, quit going to sleep. We're in the middle of the battle. All right, the seal went to sleep. It's going to keep regaining stuff. This is this is quite an annoyance. All right, I'm going to go ahead and throw out the headbutt. I wonder how many hyper potions Price has. My guess is it probably has around two. Uh, or has... Yeah, probably has around two. I'm going to go ahead and throw out another Swift. Get it halfway and then throw out the headbutt. And that should take it down. I think this is probably the best strategy for us to use. Uh, especially if you don't have like a good electric type on your team at this point. All right, let's go ahead and do this. And this should KO it. All right, there we go. And that's going to take down the seal. See you later, seal. Clap your hands one more time for seal. Everybody put your hands backwards like you would do it like a seal. And then just clap them. All right, Pillow Swine is coming out. I'm going to keep out Zuko. I'm pretty sure Pillow Swine is an ice type, not one of those little watery type. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to throw out the Lava Plume. This is our time to shine. Time for our Zuko to show us what he has. Time to, you know, go all MVP on this gym and start KOing some Pokemon. So the first one is down a level 34 pillow swine that's actually pretty good we get a crap load of xp all right dugong is coming out and now we will be able to switch out pokemon let's go ahead and send out i'm almost thinking Sokka would be a little more fun uh to take down the the dugong so let's go ahead and do this let's send out Sokka just for fun just to mix things up a little bit and use a couple pokemon in this battle so here we go Sokka is going to be up against the dugong which hopefully isn't its strongest pokemon and it is not oh huh, you you are quite the trainer Thank you, Price. At least someone is giving me some recognition these days. I'm going to go for the brick, brick, brackety, brick, 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 brackety, and hopefully we can KO this dugong. Are we going to do it? I don't know if we're actually going to do it. I hope we do. <laughs> that was really close. Super effective. The foe's dugong is going to use Aurora Beam. All right. Hopefully this doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It shouldn't do too much. All right. Willow is my middle name. Willow is flexible and not easily broken. I'm not giving up yet. You know what's easily broken? Your cane. And we're about to brick, brick, brackety, brackety, break, break your cane right here once we actually uh, land this attack. Let's hope for a crit. I don't know if we're going to land a crit, though. Eh, we probably won't. So you know what? 
Price is gonna have to pull something out, and then we're gonna have to come on and do it. Oh, I, I for a second I thought we were gonna pull out a crit. All right, let's go for something fast. Aerial ace counter. I'm just gonna keep brick, brick, bracketing, bracketing, and here we go. That's gonna be it. Samurai chop him, and that should take down this old man. We. Oh, yeah. Let me hit the crit when the dude's got like two HP. Fantastic. I hit it then. Sokka gains some XP, which is good for us. We defeated Leader Price. Huh? Seems as if my luck has run out. We got 4080 full winning. I am impressed by your prowess. With your strong will, I know you will overcome all life's obstacles. You are worthy of this badge. We received the Glacier Badge from Price. That is the seventh out of eighth badges here in the Johto region. One more to go. That badge will raise the special stats of Pokemon. It also lets your Pokemon use Whirlpool to get across real Whirlpools. And this, this is a gift from me. We obtained the TM07. That TM contains Hail. It summons a hailstorm that lasts for five turns. The hailstorm damages all types except ice. When the ice and snow melts, spring arrives. You and your Pokemon will be together for many years to come. Cherish your time together. Thank you so much, Price. So we are going to be with our Pokemon for a very long time. It's pretty awesome that we've gotten ourselves the seventh badge. Just one left, and I am very excited to see what is up ahead of us. So let's go ahead and head out of this gym. That dude, is, isn't he supposed to be back in that one town working at that supermarket? Who knows? Uh, we're getting a call from Professor Elm. This is a little bit strange. It says... Rodri, how are things going? I called because something weird is happening with the radio broadcast. They were talking about Team Rocket. Rodri, do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you. Take care. So something mysterious is happening with Team Rocket. Maybe you guys know a little bit more about that than I do. So make sure to tell me if you do. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to continue on to the 8th gym. Or maybe battle out Team Rocket one more time. Uh, let me know what you guys think we should do. Your tips always come in handy and they're always welcome. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.